my channel Power of PowerPoint with Shruti Sharma where I help professionals or students like you create more effective presentations. So today we are going to learn a very interesting feature of PowerPoint called Summary Zoom. It can make your presentation look dynamic instantly. So without any further delay, let's begin. Before I actually tell you how to use this tool, let me show you what it is, what it does for PowerPoint. You know, there are times when you are presenting a deck which is a 20 slider, 30 slider and by the time you have finished showing it, people would have, you know, forgotten what you had showed initially in the slides and you want to highlight those things again like a recap slide or summary slide, right? You want to reiterate maybe few designs, few ideas that you want to stay in the head of spectators, right? Or the viewers. So, you know, how do we do that? That is where summary slides come into the picture. Let me show you how it works. Can you see from this slide, I can actually go to one particular slide and come back on the summary slide by just click of a button. I can go to each slide one by one by just clicking on these small tabs of the slides that you see. So whether it's an overview slide, whether it's a recap slide or a summary slide, this feature comes really handy and the transition is so beautiful as you can see. Right, it's very very simple to go to each slide and it makes it look very very interactive as well as dynamic and that's what we are going to learn today you know there are a few features that can actually create a wow effect in your presentation i think summary zoom is one of those features it's very very simple to use uh, it's not a very complicated feature to learn but i think it can really create that x factor you know for your presentation when you're presenting to somebody so let me show you how to do this so open a blank slide click on insert there's a feature called zoom just click there you will see three sub options click on summary zoom the moment you do that you will see all your slides that you have in your presentation just start clicking on the slides that you want to keep in the summary one so you need to just click on the small box that you see and press insert You can adjust them as per your convenience as how you want them. If you want to give them an outline, you can do that also. Like I'm just clicking on shape outline like how we do regularly for shape. And I'm giving them a soft outline so that the bifurcation is easy. You can put the title, whether it's summary, overview, recap, whatever it may be. And I'm going to align it in the center by using the align feature. In case you have not seen that video, please check out the video on alignment and distances. I will change the background color to make it look more appealing. And I'm good to go. So now your slide is ready. You can go to each slide from here by clicking on those tabs that you have created. And you can come back to your key slide just like that. Did you see how easy it is to create this slide? Let me show you how else can we use this feature because this was just one way of using it. There are multiple ways in which you can use this beautiful tool. For example, look at this slide. This has like a very basic laptop screen and all my slides are there. The one that I want to highlight but it looks very different looks like any screen where the pictures are there but nobody can figure out that you are going to click on them and they are going to zoom in right so I think this is a very interesting way of showcasing uh, maybe your key points it need not be a recap slide it could be just a slide where you want to talk about four main features now I'm going to recreate this for you so that we can understand how this works so I'm going to just fix all the text so that because I made it slightly bigger, I want the slide tabs to be shown and I'll delete these colors that I have. Go to insert, click on zoom and then summary zoom. The moment you do that, you will find all your slides that you have in your presentation. Click on the slides that you want to include in this slide. So I want to keep four slides only, otherwise the tabs will become too small. So it's, it's actually a personal choice. You can have more than that also. So this always comes on a new slide whenever you're using summary zoom. It, you would never get it on the slide that you actually want it on. So cut it from there and paste it on the slide that you want to put it on. 
and now you can fix the size as per your own convenience and the design so did you see it just took me what less than 30 seconds actually to create this and my slide is ready i can click on each tab and go to that slide instantly i don't have to go to slide sorter and go to that slide it's very very easy and convenient Now let's look at one more format. What if you want to make something interesting about yourself maybe before a presentation or introducing yourself to a group of people? Why can't you create a slide like this? And this is just an example. You can actually create a slide like this for your organization also. Where for example you want to talk about brand. So I'm going to show you how to create something like this. Put the image that you want in the center. So it could be image of a brand Where you want, where where you're talking about multiple features of a particular brand, or maybe let's say a particular object. I'm going to change the color by using eyedropper so that the slide looks seamless. In case you don't know how to use the feature of eyedropper, check out my video. The link is going to be in the description box. Click on insert. Go to zoom and summary zoom. and you can choose the slides that you want to insert on this one i am choosing around 6 slides here again they will always come on a different new slide so click on that copy the summary slides that you have and paste it over here i am going to make them full screen because that give basically that defines the playground area in which i am going to adjust these 6 slides and since i want them to be scattered around the entire slide i am going to make it a full slider sort of a thing and now i can decide the location and size for each slide so the outside lines that you see defines the area where all the slides are going to be Once all my slides are sorted, I am going to go to insert and bring this shape of a call out box. Shape fill zero. And now it's very easy for me to adjust the call out box as per the slide size, since the ratio is almost same, right? But it's always better to zoom in and check all the edges to make sure that there are no gaps. Now it's very simple. I just have to make a copy and put it on all the rest of the slides. the left hand side is done coming to the right so you can play with this triangle and decide where you want it
again it's always better to zoom in to see any gaps because the background is light so sometime you may miss it coming to the last slide and my slide is ready i'm just going to put the heading and i'm good to go now you can go to each slide as you know by just click of a button and come back to the main slide so you know your presentation can only have these seven slides and from the summary slide you can go to each slide one by one so this will give such an interactive look to the entire presentation Now let me show you the last way. I have taken this picture of net, a very basic working desk, and I have put these slides that I want to go to on multiple elements like just a paper on this this board that you see on the visiting card and I think it gives a very interesting look to the entire look and feel of the slide. People wouldn't expect this to happen, right? I think this is a very very cool way to use summary zoom and I'm going to give you a quick demo of how to do this. Again, insert zoom summary zoom and click on all the slides so right now you know what happens the moment you go to summary zoom it will show you all the options selected that you have used earlier in your presentation so i'm going to untick all the options so that i can select the ones that i want to use in this particular slide i'm telling you this because i think it's important to know so that you don't get confused So now I'm going to choose all the options. You know at the bottom you can see two slides selected, three slides selected so that you know how many slides you have selected. So I've taken six slides. And as always it always comes on a new slide. I'm going to cut and paste it here. In this also since I want to play, you know, with the entire slide, I'm going to make all this full screen. So now I can play with all these slides and put them wherever I want on the slide. I'm not restricted to a particular area. So this outside rectangular shape that you see defines the area where you want to use these slides. Since I have put it on entire slide, now this entire slide is my playground. So I'm going to adjust the size. And you know there is no right or wrong way to do this you can just play with as per your convenience if you like to put it at one place if you want to choose some other background these are just examples that i wanted to show you that so that you don't restrict yourself to only one format of a plain slide you can place them anywhere that you like so try to play with different backgrounds place them on maybe let's say a open notebook a laptop screen also and you know there there are hundreds of ways in which you can use this one and we are done i just need to click on each slide to go to that particular one and i can come back within less than a second so i hope that you enjoyed watching this one because i personally like this feature a lot i think it adds a lot of dynamism to my presentation and it makes it look very very interesting and cool so i hope that you enjoyed this as much as i did while preparing this video and i'll see you soon in my next video Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this one. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you want me to make video on any particular topic in PowerPoint, do drop in in the comments and I'll surely make one in the upcoming videos. Thank you so much.